there, this is Kristen with K Design Co. And today we are going to talk about how to create a pop-up and show it. So uh, pop-ups can be super helpful on your website um, for a number of things. A lot of people like to use them for um, an email sign-up form or just to promote that they're having, you know, running a sale or potentially you could even use it to show more information about your services that you don't want to show up on a whole other page. So there's a lot of ways you can use it um, and show it makes it really super simple um, to create this uh, functionality that seems like it, it could be a little bit complex. But I'm going to show you that you should be able to do in just a few minutes. So um, today I am using the Kimberly template, but you should be able to use any template um, you have within show it. Um, or if you're just starting from scratch, it should be something that anybody should be able to do. So um, the first thing that I want to do is um, I have a page here. It's kind of just a general, um, a general page template. Um, so what I want to do is add a new blank canvas to my template. And I'll go ahead and rename that um, to pop up just so I can identify it. And then I'm going to adjust the sizing a little bit so it's a little bit um, larger for what I want and then I'm going to do a couple other things so over here on the settings panel um, under canvas I'm going to which one check that this canvas is hidden to start so the pop-up doesn't show um, when the page initially loads that there has to be some sort of trigger to make it show I'm also going to make this a sticky uh, canvas so that means that it's going to stick um, to the page um, so it's going to kind of move with with the page as the user scrolls um, so they don't miss that and it's going to set on top. I'm also going to set a little bit of an offset for this canvas um, and basically what that means is so my pop-up's not going to stick to the very top of the browser. Um, I don't want it to interfere with uh, my my header area up here, I'd love it if it was a little bit more centered in the page. So those are a few of the settings I'm going to do. I know um, that my header is 151 pixels, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick that number there. I may do a little bit of tweaking, but with trial and error, we'll just, we can figure that out easily. Okay, so now that I have those settings under control, the next thing I'm going to do is change my background to a transparent. Um, and now it looks like it disappeared. It's still there though. Um, it's just an empty canvas. So next, I'm going to create a backdrop for my pop-up. Um, I think I'll make a white box. If you want to make a specific size or kind of round out these numbers, you can definitely do that um, over here in the positioning settings. And then I'll go ahead and just center that on my page. And then another thing I'm going to do is change the color of that box to a nice bright white. And the next thing we're going to do is add my X, which will act as my close function. So just set my icon in there, change it to an X, and then I'll place that in the corner. So to get this to function, all we need to do is set a click, click action for it, and under type, you'll do hide canvas, and you'll do this canvas, okay? So lastly, I want to, um, for this the pop-up design, obviously I want to put some text in there, so it's going to have my text in there. I'll put a few different things. Um, let's go ahead and call this pop-up. Check it out. And <laughs> so obviously you can put whatever text you want in there that makes sense for you and you can format that how you like. Um, but this is just going to give you a quick idea um, as an example of what you can do here. So I'm going to go ahead and center all that good stuff in my canvas. Looking good. I'll vertically. There we go. Okay, so my pop-up's looking really good right now. 
And the last thing I want to do is um, we need some kind of trigger for this pop-up. So what's going to make it actually show up on the page um, since I have it set hidden to start? So there's two things that you can do to trigger this. You can set a scroll action. So depending on where somebody is at on the page, um, what canvas they're viewing, um, or a percentage from the top of the page, um, you can trigger that pop-up to show, or you could use a button. So I'll actually sh show you uh, with the button first, and then we'll do the scroll action as well. To sh do the button, I'm going to add a button to this um, bottom of the page here. Just a, a quick little rectangle with some text in it. And then... I'll go ahead and set this to say pop up. Center that and change the color so it stands out there. Okay, and I will center. All right, so that's nice. Nice little button. And then all you got to do from there is click that button and also assign it a click action. So um, basically, it's the opposite of the X icon that we created. So in this case, we want to show the canvas and the canvas that we want to show is the pop-up. Okay, so now is the moment of truth where we're going we're gonna to test if this works and if we need to make any tweaks as far as spacing or sizing and things like that. So we will go ahead and preview our page And I'm going to scroll down a little bit where to my button. I will click that little guy. Oh, to that. And it looks like it worked pretty well. Um, one thing that I'm seeing, which may happen to you, is that this pop-up, it's layering over top of this content, um, but it's hiding actually behind this content. So in Show It, one of the unique things about it is that you can stack elements and layers and canvases on top of each other um, so what that tells me is that this has a stacking order that's higher than this pop-up canvas. So we can change that so that it sets on top of there um, instead of goes behind it. And that's pretty easy to do. If I check the stacking order here, I can see that it's a three. Um, or if I check it here, um, that's also a three. So I need to just make a stacking order that's one higher than what um, it happens to be going behind. So that tells me I need to make the stacking order a four. And then I'm going to check out after it saves, give it a second. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to preview it once more with my button. Okay, now it, we, it's doing what we want. So now it is, um, it's scrolling in front of all the elements on the page and it is closing for me. Perfect. Okay. So that's kind of the gist of how to create a button um, that, sh or a pop-up that shows up with the button. Um, the other option that we have is to show it um, on scroll action. Um, so we could remove this button altogether um, and then the thing that we'll want to do is go to the canvas that we want to trigger the action. Let's say if we want to, if somebody uh, hits this, this canvas right here, um, where I have the main text, that it's going to trigger that pop-up to go um, automatically. So I'm going to go over here to the scroll actions and then click add action. So what this says, the trigger is saying once this canvas is on screen, that I want to show a canvas, and the canvas that I want to show is the pop-up. Um, especially if you're doing a scroll action versus a button, it's um, you may want to consider clicking this checkbox that says trigger once. Um, this makes it so that every time, like especially if you have a long page um, and they may you know scroll up or down a couple of times. It's going to help it make so that pop-up doesn't keep popping up um, for them and it'll just happen once um, on the first time that they open the page. So now that we have that uh, trigger uh, set for this scroll, I'm going to go ahead 
and preview again. And hopefully this will work <laughs> for us. Okay, so I'm scrolling down the page and there's my pop-up. So it looks like everything worked out um, just the way that we were hoping. <laughs> so if you have any questions on how to um, create a pop-up for your site, let me know. Um, hopefully this has been helpful for you. Thanks.